Hello everyone, welcome to the video where we're showing you the fill replace command. It's an extremely useful command where we can replace blocks with any other block just like that. It's extremely useful, especially for cutting down trees or leaves or, you know, even replacing blocks in your house to some other set of blocks. But then again, there is no replace command. As we can see, there's replace item, but not replace. So what are we doing? We're actually using a fill command. So first, we're, I'm going to have to, have to show you the fill command, and then we're going to be going over the fill replace command. So first, we're going to get the uh, first corner of this block just like that, and then we're going to go over and get the other block just right here. Now, what you'll notice is the block that I'm looking at, the coordinates of it are going to be showing up right there, just like this. So I'm able to press tab and twice actually and get the block location. Then we're going to be doing, let's say, diamond block. And then just to reiterate what we're doing, I'm going to do another fill and get the top corner like this one. And we'll go down over to here and get the bottom corner just like this. And there we go. So now I can do this one as redstone block. And there we are. It's all ready to go. So that is the fill command. So again, we're going to have to use the fill command and do this one more time and go from you know one corner all the way up to the top corner. And now you're going to be able to see the actual replace command. So we're going to be doing uh, diamond block replaces, or in this case, we spell replace, but I say replaces because it makes more sense that way. Diamond block replaces leaves. Now, already, this is very useful. This would actually work if you just wanted to replace leaves with air. But what if you want to do something specifically on birch leaves or etc.? Then you have to do it a little bit differently. And even if we try to replace diamond blocks with leaves, this will already sort of run into the specificity issue here, which is if I do that, we're going to end up with oak leaves. So to reiterate, I'm going to do the command manually now so you can actually see what I'm typing. We're going to do leaves replaces diamond blocks. So just like that, it's going to be oak leaves. The reason why is because we didn't specify the kind of leaf. We only said leaves. What kind of leaves we did not specify. So we need to make sure we say exactly what it's supposed to be. So we're going to do this as diamond blocks and then we're going to do uh, the same command. But this time we're going to do uh, leaves. We're going to specify the old leaf type is equal to birch. So there we go. So again, just to reiterate, we have leaves square bracket old leaf type equal to birch, uh, which I accidentally pressed something I didn't mean to. Old leaf type is equal to birch. And just like that, um, we have the specific block. However, we then need to specify that those leaves replaces diamond blocks. So there we go. Now that does function correctly. Now already, if you're dealing with other blocks, which um, had a slight accident earlier, um, so we'll have to uh, not look at that. Here we go. If we do another selection, you'll see that this can cause issues with other leaves. So if I make a selection just like this and I do, you know, diamond blocks uh, replaces uh, leaves. Well, actually, I need to do diamond block replaces leaves. And I want to do specifically birch leaves. So if I do specifically birch leaves, it's not going to do all the birch leaves. But if I keep doing it, it's going to keep doing more and more birch leaves. And that's because the default for this thing here, the update bit is set to false. So because the default is set to false, like, yeah, this now works the exact same. It doesn't do all of the leaves. You need it to be set to true. So it will actually do all of the leaves. So now it will actually function correctly and replace all of the leaves here. Um, clearly, these are set to false at the moment and already that's sort of obnoxious. So in this case, it would need to be set to false. I think this is from me earlier. Um, or it might be might need to be set uh, to something else like this other value here persistent bit is equal to uh, to true as well possibly that's what needs to be um, or false so there we go now it does work it's a little bit obnoxious you have to actually specify the block that you want like fairly exactly which I don't pers personally like I prefer that it did all options that are available rather than only the one that you've specified so here's another example of this issue you know a bit more uh, prevalent with these slabs right here. So if I go to this and I want to do, let's say the diamond block replaces um, wooden slab here, and I want to do specifically of it to be of the wood type is equal to birch, it's not gonna do all of them. It's only gonna do the bottom one because that's the default value. So that's a little bit of like annoying. And then again, if I do vertical half, half slab right here is equal to, let's say top, because that's not the default. Now it doesn't work. But if let's say I got oak and I got an oak slab just like this, all of a sudden, I bet you it'd work, uh, which actually it needs to be top. There we go. 
So now it did work because Oak is the default. That is a little bit obnoxious. I wish it would just work across multiple block types. Like it should just work. That's not something that Mojang can't do. It's something they definitely could do. So hopefully at some point they change this behavior before it's too late. Uh, but that is how it works right now. So hopefully that makes sense. You have to be very specific with the block that you want. In this case, I have to do, you know, wood type is equal to top. Um, or the vertical half is equal to top and the wood type is then equal to birch and I have to be like very specific about what I want and I can't do both unless I do just uh, wooden slabs so I can't just specify the material type I have to do both now I could be wrong um, so if you guys know of, of how to actually do all of these or the same with stairs as well if you know a way of do all almost all or all of the stair types for example or for here's a Sorry for interrupting, I forgot to mention two small things. I'll make sure to make it quick. So number one is this. I didn't really give you guys a good look at how this is structured um, and how I'm getting the answers here. So we can get the type of information right here, or not just the type of information, but if I did, for example, leaves, and I do uh, this here, the square bracket, we're gonna get old leaf type, persistent bit, update bit. Same way if I do anything, if I did amethyst clusters, I do replace uh, a stone, square brick, stone type. And again, the square bit, then it's inside of quotes. So it is quote stone underscore type quote is equal to, and then quote uh, stone or whatever the block type it is. And then a end, um, an end square bracket as well. And then there you go, that works. Now we're gonna jump on over to the next thing, which is a little bit more important. Okay, here we are. So we are in this world. I'm gonna do a small test. We're gonna need some andesite, uh, just because I'm gonna be doing the replace command on this stone here. So we have this andesite. Now, the reason this is more important is because it has to do with uh, MC functions and data packs. So if I reload this, we're actually going to get an error. And that's because of this equals. This makes this very confusing because we have this equal sign and it works in game, but inside of a data pack, all of a sudden it no longer works or functions, which is a little bit obnoxious. Now, all of a sudden it works after I change it from an equals to a colon. So if I do this now, all of a sudden it does work. So if you have any sort of commands in game and you're wanting to translate it to MC functions, you have to change the equal sign to a colon. Don't ask me why, I don't really know why. Probably something to do uh, with JSON or something. Either way, it's a little bit obnoxious, but let's get back to the video. If you appreciate the video and you want to buy me a cup of coffee, then the link will be in the description and you can check that out, it is the Kofi link. Um, but besides that, there's also a shop on Kofi, so you guys can buy some maps that I have made. Uh, currently, there's only one. Uh, it's from the statue video I made recently for the Java edition. Anyway, hope you guys had a great, wonderful, sublime day and God bless.